Land Sensei with Combine Harvester Thrashers and welcome to today's Facebook Live. If you're logging in right now, please like this video, share this video. It is a very beautiful day. It rained all last night. We got one entire inch of rain, I think. That's what my rain gauge told me. It may be different other places. Rain in Pennsylvania is really spotty. As you can see, there's mud puddles everywhere. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> you read the description today. It's going to be a dirty day. Very, very, very dirty day. So, yesterday I explained how the turn head works. We got our Milwaukee blower up here. Milwaukee did not sponsor this video. I wish they would um, because I am broke. <laughs> um, so, basically what today's video is going to be me climbing in here and cleaning it out. So, and enjoy the pretty view while you have a chance because right now it's just about ready to get a little bit dark and dirty so we're gonna climb here into there I'm going to leave my cell phone out here on the elevator I'm gonna leave my wallet out here so it doesn't fall down one of those pipes and go into the bin and get lost so I'm going in here with pretty much the bare essentials and I'm half tempted whether I should even go in here with this hat because I just washed this hat and I really like it. Yeah, I'm going to go in here without the hat as well. Let's leave the hat outside. I'm going to put Timpty. Good buddy from North Carolina actually gave that hat to me. And by the way, anybody got a Wilson hat out there? Wilson, if you want to sell your name brand, we got Timpty up here. You better give me a, give me a hat if you want your thing. So, we're going to go in here. I'm going to get all buckled up and dirty <clears throat> so the idea is kids don't ever try this at home um, I'm a grain elevator expert that's what I do for a living and don't ever do what I do this is the crazy stuff that I do so you don't have to and you can have food on the table so I'm gonna climb over here get a firm footing on the pipe and then we're gonna go head first in through this hole <clears throat> So, we're climbing in here right now. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Pelvis is in. Ah! What I do for a good video. There's nobody else out there that does Facebook lives like I do. I'm the only one crazy enough to do them. Okay, I don't know if you guys can still see. We're still live. Okay, so here's what we're dealing with. We have a chain that runs the elevator back and forth. Here is a steel plate sensor. These slots <coughs> predict what um, pipe that we're on. Those go 130 foot down, and I probably could slide down one of those. So. That's why this is a little dangerous. What we gotta do is the slots that are closed, we need to dig the wheat off the top of them. So these things, the turn heads, right here, this is the north turn head, can flip back and forth because what happens is it comes here, hits the grain, and then it doesn't wanna move. So we need to clean all this out. We need to clean this off. Here's the sensor that reads this plate to see what pipe it is in. And uh, so we need to clean all that, clean the sidewalls off, clean that off, dig the grain out of here, get all nice and pretty back, little sprocket chains all good, and make sure the wires are right, sensors and all this stuff. And uh, yeah, it'll be really exciting. So remember here, which one is which? So this one's number eight, seven, six, five. Five's a wheat bin. So we're gonna put wheat into the wheat band and dig all this junk out of here so we can put stuff in the wheat band. And by the way, that's a little tiny hole that I got through and there's a bar here in the way. This bar rotates and goes to electric motor that I showed you beforehand on the outside. So, I gotta get a little bit down and dirty. Digger all this junk out of here. And we'll dig this out nice and deep so when these turn heads go over here, we have the whole thing to fill up 
before this becomes an issue again. And yes, there's corn mixed in here. Because sometimes corn gets in with the stuff. Notice how this side's wheat and this side's corn because this turn head is always the one that turns the, the corn. This is the one that always runs the wheat. You see there's a pivot up in here and that. So we're in a steel box 130 feet in the air with a bunch of holes in that I can fall down through. So, yeah. And there's the outside hole. Hello. Alrighty. I'm gonna be here digging for a long time. Just a lot of grain to get out of here. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm not enjoying it right now. It's all this crusty junk. You hear that? You can hear it banging down in the bottom. So, uh, this is what Lance Sensening's up to, the, to today. I'll take some pictures after and show you how dirty I am. But I don't think anybody's done a Facebook Live inside of a distributor on a grain leg on a grain facility. So, here's the first time. If you're watching this live, you're probably the first ones to ever watch this. And if anybody has done it, I'd love to see the footage myself. Um, because I would love to not be the first one that actually has been this stupid to have to do this. There's the aeration fan that's over here as well. <clears throat> so, yeah, buddy. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, share this video. And as always, see y'all later. Keep on farming. Here's a Facebook poke.